Hello YouTube, I am going to teach how to uh, make transparency and reflection on bricks. Um, very simple process, so if you're new to Studio, this is great for you. Um, so, first things first, you want to open up your properties. Um, it looks, that's objects, and this is what properties looks like. You can also open it up in, uh, where is it, um, view, so you can open it up from there. Or you can open it up like that. Um, so here's properties, and once you select a brick, you'll get all of its properties opened. So this is very important for um, editing bricks and stuff, or you can just use your tools. So, right. so um, I'll teach you other things besides uh, transparency and reflection, reflection too. Um, so here's the numerals. Um, reflection goes up to one, so your brick turns. Uh, very shiny or if you put it in the middle it's going to be kind of shiny 0.25 a little bit shiny and then zero is just defaults transparency is makes your brick see through uh, see through so you can see through the brick um, it's great for like obbies and ghost stuff or just like anything pretty much um, very important stuff um, you can also, in properties, you can make a brick anchored. That's important. I'm not sure where I archivable is. And can collide. If you turn that off, you can walk through the brick. And then locked. That means just if you have a building game, people cannot do anything with the brick. So, um, and then the part, you can edit its, uh, like, different uh, things. So you can turn it into a plate, symmetric, and then custom is whatever you want. Just put it at 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is the minimum. Um, so you can't make a super small brick unless you have like a mesh or something. Um, so let's put it back to just symmetric. I would recommend symmetric if you're trying to make uh, like good things and stuff. Because brick, it's uh, 1.2. It's 1.21 1, 1 1 because uh, it's a little bit taller. So makes your things really offset sometimes it's annoying so surface inputs don't really need to worry about that and then here's your surface so you can change it to smooth and it'll get rid of the welds and stuff like that and uh so you can change the surface and everything so that's pretty much it with properties oh yeah so um you can change the color in properties um you can change the ice and all kinds of things um if you resize the brick, it'll automatically update. So now, we're going to make a 5x5 five five brick. See, now it updates to 555, five five, and you can change the shape of it too to ball, cylinder, whatever you want. Um, so that's how you uh, access properties. And uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you out.